2 News Oklahoma First Forecast, sponsored by Executive Homes. We continue to see that hazy sunshine in place as we take a look at our downtown cam and are also noticing some cumulus clouds developing, kind of a sign of some moisture increasing from the south. So how many more days of this milky sky are we going to be experiencing? Well, it looks like after today, that smoke from all the fires out to the west, that's going to be retreating back to the north and back to the northwest. So we shouldn't see those hazy conditions over the next couple of days after today. As we take a look at the surface map, we are tracking a cool front located across portions of the Dakotas heading back towards Wyoming. That will have a part of an impact on our weather as we head into our Wednesday. And the other system we're tracking is Tropical Storm Nicholas across the Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, this is expected to intensify even more throughout the day, may even become a hurricane, but at the moment it is a tropical storm winds of 60 miles per hour, still just off the coast of uh, Texas right here and dumping a lot of heavy rain. Houston, even uh, rain back towards Louisiana, which doesn't need it. And unfortunately, this system is going to be tracking back towards Louisiana as we head toward the next 24 to 36 hours. Looks like it's going to make landfall during the evening hours. This says about 70 miles per hour, but it could approach about 74, which would classify it as a hurricane and it'll be moving inland. It will still cause problems even as a tropical depression tomorrow heading into Thursday. And yeah, look at that track throughout portions of Louisiana. This is an area that is still recovering from Ida and this area could pick up anywhere from five to 10 inches of rain. So just horrible that yet another tropical system tracking over this area that was uh, certainly battered big time by Ida. All right, closer to home, you might have noticed it's starting to feel a little bit more humid out there as the dew points have risen into the upper 60s and 70s. Most of last week we had these dew points in the 50s and 60s, but moisture is increasing from the south, so it will be feeling a little bit more muggy over the next few days. Uh, temperatures right now at 87 in town, even some 90s back to the west towards Stillwater, 87 currently in Tahlequah. Highs this afternoon still above normal for us in the lower 90s. Normal high for today is at 86, and today will mark the 39th straight day of temperatures at 90 or higher, but I think we're going to break that as we head into our Wednesday. Heading out this evening, stay hydrated out there. Pretty good evening to uh, take a walk around the block, head out to the river parks. Overnight lows will be mild for us, upper 60s and low 70s tomorrow morning. Throughout the day, Clouds will begin to increase from the south. Could be some stray showers across portions of southeast Oklahoma tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures back in the 90s for us, low 90s. But there will be a cool front approaching us during the early morning hours for Wednesday. Doesn't really look like significant rainfall with this particular system, but this front will bring in more clouds and also some scattered showers Wednesday afternoon with highs in the 80s. We'll still have to continue to water as the rainfall amounts look to be less than about two tenths of an inch. It will also heat back up. Oh man, we're ready for autumn, aren't we? But look at the weekend highs. Ouch, middle 90s. There are signs. We're crossing our fingers 